So till now we have learned about what is ESP now and we also learned how to use it in two different configurations which is one to one communication and two way communication and we even made a very interesting project of controlling our home appliances and also monitoring the census data using two way communication of ESP now. Now let us take our ESP now learning a bit ahead and let's learn how to transfer data from one to many other ESP now devices which is called as one to many configurations and by the end of the video we'll be making a very interesting project in which we'll be able to control multiple devices maybe one at a time or maybe all the devices at a single time using one to many configuration of ESP now. So yeah, that's the topic of the video and if you're interested in learning this, just stick around as we'll be starting this video after this short ad. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer software company. LTM has all the tools that you need to design a professional PCB with high productivity. And well, it is widely used in big electronic companies like Texas Instruments, Siemens, SIGAD and many more for their PCB designs. It has advanced routing features real-time cost estimations and also you can design your own flexible PCBs using this software. So this is an all-in-one professional PCB designing software for all your needs. So go ahead and try your hands on with this software. A free trial version is waiting for you. Now click on the link mentioned in the description to get a free trial of LTM Designer software. Okay, so coming back to this video. So now if you're hearing this term ESP now for the very first time, well, I'll suggest you to watch out the other two videos which are already live on our YouTube channel, whose link you can find below the like button. So do watch it out to learn about ESP now and how to do the one-to-one -one and two-way communication, okay? So coming back to this video in which our agenda is one-to-many communication. So what we are doing is we'll be transferring the data from one ESP32 board which is a transmitter to a node MCU board and an ESP32 device. So we'll be transferring the data to the one device at a time and also to all the devices at a single time. So that's the agenda of this particular video. So now to implement this particular logic in a well project manner, what we decided is let's make a project in which we'll be having a touch screen remote and using that remote, we'll be able to send the data to the other ESP now devices and we'll be controlling the appliances using that. Okay. So now if you're wondering what is this touch screen LCD all about well this is our previously made project called a smart plant in which we use the tft touchscreen lcd uh, which is based on the esp32 board and we designed a nice pc for this particular project whose gerbil file you can definitely find uh, by clicking on the link in the description and by downloading the gerbil file you can also order the pcbs as we did from glc pcb so you just need to upload that gerbil file of the pcb project on the glc pcb website select the color masking if you want it and just pay for your order. Now, if you select the fastest delivery option, well, you may get the PCBs delivered at your doorstep within a week. So do try ordering your own custom design PCBs from GLC PCB to make your project looks neat and portable as well. So yeah, that was the hardware transmitter side of the project. And on the receiver side, we used one ESP32 board and a Node MCU board and attach a single channel relay to that particular board, okay? So that was all about the hardware part. Now let's jump on to the coding part and let's first start with the transmitter part. So here now what I'll do is I'll only go through the major changes that we need to do in one to many configuration as compared to the one to one and two way communication, okay? So here we go. So first of all, here as you can see, I have mentioned three different broadcast addresses. So previously, we were mentioning only one single broadcast address. So why three? So out of three, one is used for the Node MCU board, second is for the ESP32 device, and third is kind of a universal MAC address. So here we need to transfer the data to multiple devices from one single transmitter. So we need to have the MAC address of those multiple devices and hence we have to use the separate broadcast addresses. So with this, it becomes clear to mention the two different broadcast addresses, but why the third one? Well, the third one is a special broadcast address. And if you look at carefully, it's just zero cross FF. And when you mention this broadcast address and when you send data to this particular broadcast address, it will be sending the data to all the nearby ESP now devices, regardless of any MAC address, okay? So this is kind of a universal MAC address. By writing this, you'll be able to transfer the data to all the devices. Hence, I mentioned the three different broadcast addresses. 
After that, in the setup part, we need to add three different peer devices. So previously we were adding only one single device. Now we have to do this step for three times because we need to send data to uh, practically three different devices, you can say, okay? So that's the step included here. And also if I go through the structure part, here I have declared three different variables of that same structure. And it's just because we'll be sending a different structure to different devices, okay? So that's why I defined three different uh, structure one for ESP32 one for node MCO and one for the both devices you can say okay now let us move to how we are sending the data or how different it is to send the data from one device to multiple devices so here's the logic to send the data so first of all I'm checking whether the board status is 0 1 or 2 now how the state will change well it will change according to the button pressed onto the touch screen side so here on the bottom I have three button ESP32 node MCU and both button and I have given a dedicated what you can say board number to each of the button for example if I press the both button the board variable will become 0 similarly when I press node MCU button it will become 1 and it will become 2 when I press the ESP32 button okay so first we need to check those condition and in case let's example that we have pressed the uh, node MCU button that means the board variable will become 1 so it will go inside this condition and here I'm using the node MCU based structure saving the data to a particular switch pressed and after that I am broadcasting that message to that same node MCU broadcast address only and that's the major change okay so we need to save the data in that particular structure and we need to send the data to that particular broadcast address only and that's the major change changes between one to one and one to many communication code and similarly in case we need to send data to both devices when the both button is pressed as you can see we are saving that same uh, switch status into the both structure and we are sending the data to broadcast address zero that means it's a universal broadcast address and it will be sending the data to all nearby ESP now devices okay so that was all about the transmitter side code and talking about the receiver side then the receiver side code will be exactly the same that we have used in one-to-one -one communication okay because receiver side is only accepting the data okay so whatever data is coming it will accept it and it will be uh, you know uh, working according to the data received okay so there is no change at all okay and one more thing here we are only transmitting the data to the receiver side we are not at all accepting the data from the receiver side we'll be covering that also in the future episode and that is called as like um many to many communication and that will be covering the next part do you want that video as well like we are remaining with many to many and many to one communication so do drop your comment which episode you want first and i'll definitely make the video for that as well so yeah that was all about the coding part of the project and after that i uploaded the code onto the respective board and now let's just see how esp now works in one to many communication So as you can see, I'm able to control the appliances one at a time and also when I press the both button, I'm able to send the data to both the devices at a single press of the button at the same time. So that was the complete project made using ESP now using one to many configuration. I hope you got to know about how this ESP now works in all the three configuration that we have learned till now. And if you're not aware about to watch out the previous episode. And also if you like this project, make sure you like this video as well. Also comment below like which uh, next configuration should I try on ESP now. We'll definitely make a video on that. And well, yeah, that being said, I'm just ending this video here. And now just wait for my next video to explore, learn, share, with me, Techie SMS. Wow. 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 Wow.